Who is a person that you want to be the manager of the U.S.? Do you have a name? Gareka. Gareka, Zidane. Um, well, Zidane don't matter. He, he's not doing it. No, I know. I know. Oh, God, but no. but that, w- that would be exciting. If we're just theory crafting here, like, I'm trying to think. I would want, like, a big name. Somebody scary. I thought Lowe was good. Like, we need somebody who can communicate effectively with these guys and who they're going to respect. I think for the first time in a long time, uh, the U S men's national team has actual legitimate egos to be worried about. Like, don't get me wrong. I think Clint Dempsey was a stud and a superstar, but I don't think, I I think he's a pretty humble guy when it comes down to it. Like he's, and you know, even, even if he wasn't, they had Klinsman, like that's a scary motherfucker an angry German yelling at you. Like there's a reason. Well, and even more than that, it's an accomplished guy. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Very true. So you, you, you might not like him. It's like, you're not going to love me, but you're going to respect me type yeah. thing. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe a low would be, would be solid. It'll be somebody that the guys will be like, Oh shit. You know, this guy's not fucking around. We have to listen to this guy. This is different than Greg. For Cause sure. you know, just the more drama that I read about, like, I don't know if I, I sent you that uh, that video on Twitter uh, or I sent, sent it on Instagram. We sent, we sent each other the video, yeah. Yeah. I sent that. I sent it first for the record. I don't um, think that's true, but. It is true. You can check the timestamps on Instagram. Okay, we'll check, we'll check the timestamps. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll check the timestamps because I sent you both. There's part one, part two. But a- anyway, too. in the video, I didn't see that <laughs> shit. In the video, <laughs> I got your number blocked, bitch. Okay. So, um, in, in the video, he talks about how nobody respected him. Like people liked him. He's a good guy. It seemed like he's a good guy. He gets along well with everybody, but nobody respects him in that way. Right. You can't have that. You need somebody that is going to walk in the room and immediately, you know, the locker room gets quiet. Cause it's kind of wild. You see these videos like in the locker rooms of managers losing their shit or like Pep Guardiola giving like team talk. Nobody talks. Everybody's like boo-hooing and whining, like throwing fucking water bottles and shit. Pep walks into the room, quiet. They shut the fuck up. These studs, you know, arguably some of the the best in their position in club football, like pedigreed superstars with massive egos. Pep Guardiola walks into the room, they're quiet. I think Carlo Ancelotti has much of the same effect. I think Lowe would carry that effect. Like that that's important and you need that. You need that because we can't have another Gio Reyna <clears throat> situation like that. You know, Gio Reyna has got to be like, sir, yes, sir, to low. Yes. At the same time, Gio Reyna has got to realize he's a 20 year old who ain't one shit. Yeah. So, like, you're correct. Humble yourself. And I feel like yes, a, yes. A, a problem with the US that I'm seeing based on that, that lead conversation that you're talking about, and we can put the video in the description so you guys can go listen to it yourself. It's like 10 minutes long or something, kind of talking about how the players felt about Greg in the locker room in the background during the whole world cup. Um, I feel like the U S is really backing themselves into a corner here. If this is the profile of manager that we're going to seek, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If we're trying to bring in a guy that all these kids who play over in Europe respect, that's going to be tough to find a manager that fits that profile. And he was also willing to come coach the United States. I feel like Lowe is like one of the few, if not the only one, that could do that. And it's because he was been in the international game for so long. Why would, why would a really successful club manager come to the U S why? Cause we got two players at Leeds United. Like, nah, this is where like, I think fan expectations are a little crazy too, for the U S we got some good players. A lot of them are struggling right now. Some are thriving and they got a lot of ego. And so we're not likely going to get a world-class manager, no. a world-class manager. Luis Enrique is world-class in my opinion. Yeah. When he's sacked from Spain, he's not going to go, you know what? That U.S. job looks great. No one's thinking that. Because no, it's a, it's a muddy US ain't job. Shit. It's, it's a, a muddy job. It's a muddy job, and this Greg drama probably makes it look more, even more incestual and swampy than it did yeah. before. So why, if I'm a badass coach winning La Liga, winning Champions Leagues, Europa Leagues, why would I come here? You see what I'm saying? The, the person that does, I will say, the person, the U.S., If you bring the U.S. to international relevance and success, you're going to look like a god. So whoever does that, massive, 
massive props to them. You are going to get some fucking clout from doing that to bring us because we're kind of we're kind of like the laughing stock, you know, like we're a CONCACAF team. We struggle against, you know, teams that that frankly we should be beating every time that we think we get our expectations high. We get humbled again. If you bring us to relevance because we do have the pieces to be relevant. We don't have that tenure. So if you drag us to relevance. That is a huge, a huge plotted for you like that is mm. enormous that will bring your career to legendary status here in the u.s and you know as well as internationally they're gonna be like oh my god he did it it's like winning the you know a fucking nascar race while you're driving herbie you know like a like just a beater like the scaloneta you know like wow you did it with them okay all right so this is this is relevant now do you think that's more likely to be an older manager or a younger guy trying to make a stamp on the world, though? I think it'd be easier for an older manager to do. The people who are going to take it are going to be young managers who need to prove something. Right. I, I, I think I agree with you. I don't see like a young, you know, burgeoning European manager who's having success in Europe being like, let me go take that U.S. job. It's going to have to be somebody who has something to prove who's having a difficult time. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would say Mourinho, if we paid him enough, would have been somebody to do that. But one, he does club more. Okay. okay. But And also, it's going well for him in, uh, in Roma right now. So yeah. he has no cause. But I think after the Man United job, after that embarrassment, I think that would have been a good time for us to swoop. Obviously, it didn't happen. But you got to catch somebody like that who's like a little bit on the outs, mm, who's got something okay. to prove. They've got a mean streak. We, we need somebody to kick some ass, you know? Okay. And I, I don't really know who that is. If you guys have any suggestions, throw them yeah. in the comments. But I like it. It's yeah. just hard for me to come up with something. Um, so somebody who's maybe has the pedigree, yeah, but they're but they're being doubted right now. Yes, they're they're, they're, they're on the down. Rough. Exactly, because you look, you don't get okay. backed into the U.S. men's national team corner because that's what it is. It's a corner. You don't go there willingly, like we just said. It has to be like a, you know what? I got to do it, son of a bitch. You know, yeah. it's time. Grab my gun. We need a narcissist. I think we need a narcissist. We need somebody who's going to remind these men of their place in the world. Mm. Who come in and the Gio Reynas who need to humble themselves. You know. They're going to look and they'll be like, oh, my God. I'm really not shit. Yeah. He's going to be like, you're damn right. Now get out there yeah. and run seven laps. It's going to be like, you broke and you ugly. You broke and you ugly. Now start running suicides. <laughs> if That's Ronaldo can run suicides at 38, Jokic yeah. <laughs> has to run suicides before you hit the club. Now get the fuck out there. Dude, I think <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah. I think I think I like you and me would love Gareca. Yeah. I don't know if the players are no aware I, enough to respect him. And honestly, I don't think he put up with that shit. Mm -mm. He, he would he would piss US fans off. You know why? Because he would come in, he'd get some, you know, he'd get some ego from Weston McKinney, be like, get your ass on the bench. Yeah. I'm not playing you. And then the fans would be like, Why isn't Weston playing? How can the coach do this? And he'd be like, He's a twat. Keep him <laughs> on the bench. And I'm not saying Weston is a twat. I'm just saying if something like that happened, I just picked him as an example. You could pick yeah. anybody. Matt Turner. I don't care. P Pulisic. Pick Zach anybody. Steffen getting his ass beat. He's going to get drawn and quartered on the field. Bro, he's not going to put up with that. And if the Federation forces him to play these guys, he will leave. He would walk. He wouldn't. He would. He doesn't have to do that. And that's yeah. why he's not right now. He's taking a break. He just yeah. got out of that Peru situation. He's exhausted. He's not coming back in. Not for the U.S. Not for the U.S., no. no. I think a Mourinho would be a great shout. I know a lot of U.S. fans probably would hate that. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm not saying Mourinho because I think he'd be – I don't think he's like this tactical mastermind. Like, I think once you figure out his playing style, it's pretty easy to navigate. Like, people have figured it out before. What I like about him is the personality that he brings and just the navigational the, – the way that he navigates mm – -hmm sort of footballing infrastructure it's it's his way or the highway and everybody has to respect that we don't have like a mutual point of respect it's like we're we're not unified especially after 
Greg, it's like, uh, it's like, have you seen House of the Dragon yet? The new Game of Thrones series? I'm only on episode five, so please don't tell me what happens. No, it's okay. But you, no, you know the king. The king is kind oh, of yeah, weak, yeah. right? He's, He's extremely like, weak. weak. Nobody fucking respects him. You need a Damon. You need a Damon. You need a Rhaenyra to come in. Like somebody I that love Damon, dude. Be like, oh, shit. I knew you were going to fucking love Damon. I knew it's, you my, it's my fucking guy, dude. guy, bro. That dude, fucking. <laughs> dude, he's Lo- a beast. No, he's, he's badass. He's probably going to like pillage a village now and tell him I'm going to look like a dick. And be like, Jack is pro genocide or some shit. I haven't finished the season, so I don't know what's coming. Don't say uh, a goddamn thing. Who's getting genocided? That's all I got. You're ask. you're so bad at spoiling things. No, I don't. What, dude? You're the king of like soft spoils. Never. Yeah, you're like. Leave me once. I'm like, dude, I haven't seen the show yet. Don't tell me anything. And you're like, okay, well, like, don't worry. You know, season finale is really good, and the main character doesn't die. And I'm like, that is a spoiler. That is a spoiler by saying that he doesn't die. That's a spoiler. You have you have never broached this with me, not once, dude. I'm always like, please, please don't say anything. And you're like, dude, the final fight against blah, 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 blah. Dude, is sick. And I'm like, when? so there is a final fight? It's Attack on Titan. takes six months. I, I haven't seen Attack on Titan. Ain't no shot I could spoil that shit for you. You did spoil something in Attack on Titan. When? I Years haven't even ago. seen it. Years ago. You've seen season one. Never once. Anyways. Anyways, Anyways, what are we, we, need, How, we, we need we need a Damon, we need a Damon yeah, to yeah. come in. <laughs> we need a Damon to come in and kick some ass because ain't nobody respecting this Greg. You know, we're we're not unified. You know, we need a king in the north that everybody's gonna rally behind. You know, mm-hmm. and and that I think is much more important than his actual playing style. Because if you can get these egos and these personalities in check, I think the U.S. has a lot to offer. But there's a whole lot of, you know, it's just like an overgrown yard. We we've got to get somebody who's willing to come in, do the edging trim the hedges you know get their industrial lawnmower throw here and cut through the bullshit because yeah. there's a lot of it agreed like we agreed. saw with argentina argentina did that we like minimized the bullshit we got our infrastructure and logistics in place fucking four years after you know a disaster in in russia we couldn't book plane flights we win the world cup is that a coincidence i don't know i don't know you got to burn it down sometimes to you got to burn rebuild. it down Rebuild, blow it up like the Houston Rockets. We're absolute ass right now. That's it, full stop. I mean, we're gonna blow that shit up too. <laughs> with the uh, talk about the Cavs, dude, they were horrible after LeBron left, but now they're like fourth seed in the in the East as a rebuilding. Yeah. Donovan he, Mitchell, oh, you got to hit. You, sometimes Ooh. you got to hit a new low. I'm hoping that's what happens with Mexico. Will mm. it? No goddamn clue. That's not the what this video is about. That's that's a yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But 